Hi everyone! So today we will be making this super cool collage box using recycled magazines. I absolutely love how this box looks. I think it looks amazing. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And now without further ado, let's get started with the materials needed. So first off, you'll need some magazines. You can take whatever magazines you don't want. You can also use newspaper clippings. However, I just got some fashion magazines here. To cut out your magazine clippings, you'll need some scissors. You'll also need some glue. I highly recommend using glue sticks, however, if you don't have any, then you can also use the liquid kind of glue. You'll also need some Mod Podge, so that way we can seal in our magazine clippings. And to paint on the Mod Podge, you will need a paintbrush. And last but not least, you will need a box. I got this box at the bargain store for $4, however, you can also use a shoe box. And now without further ado, let's get started. So first off, you want to grab one of your magazines, and I actually found something I liked on the cover, so I went ahead and cut that out. Then go ahead and flip through all the pages in your magazines to see if anything catches your eye. Remember, it's always better to have more clippings rather than less so that way you have a wide selection of different shapes, colors, and sizes. And after hours of cutting, here are all the magazine clippings that I cut out. And now it's time to glue all of the magazine clippings onto our box. So before I glued everything onto my box, I went ahead and just laid the magazine clippings onto the top so that way I knew exactly where I wanted everything to be placed. Then I snapped a picture with my phone to use that as a guide and then I started gluing. After you finish gluing everything onto one side of your box, you want to go ahead and grab a pair of scissors and start snipping off any of the excess magazine clippings that hang over the edges. After that, you can go ahead and start gluing more magazine clippings to the rest of your sides that you want to decorate. At the edge where my two collage sides met, I went ahead and kind of overlapped everything so that way my collage looked seamless. <music> At 
After that, you can go ahead and continue to cut off any excess that hangs off of the edges. So this is what my box looked like after I finished collaging all of my magazine clippings onto the sides of the box that I wanted to decorate. And now it's time to whip out your Mod Podge and paintbrush and we're going to go ahead and coat all the sides that we collaged. Make sure not to paint the Mod Podge on too thickly otherwise your magazine clippings could start to crinkle up. Don't forget to seal in the edges of your project as well. When you're finished, let your box dry untouched overnight. And this is what my box looked like when I was finished. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. And also hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And find me on all my social media sites linked down in the description box below. If you make your own magazine collage box, don't forget to post it on Instagram to the hashtag tutorials by A because I'd love to see what you guys have made using my tutorials. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.